Hello YouTube, it's Richard, founder of STRU and Airbnb Superhost, and we're coming back, a blast from the past. I'm about to do one of my first Airbnb reviews in since I can remember. Very popular segment, backed by popular demand. For my STRU Live audience that's coming to Nashville in August, I decided I'm gonna take a look at each one of their listings, their financials, and just try and add as much value immediately between now and August so that they get their money back and then some before we go. And there's probably a handful of seats left, so if you're at all interested, go ahead and click on the link above. Jorge is one of our attendees, and he's given me authorization to not only review his property, but release it to the public, so thank you, Jorge. So we're getting started with Jorge's listing here, and it's in Puerto Rico. The very first thing we do is we take a look at the thumbnail and the headline, then I turn to the photo order, then I take a look at the description, the written copy, and finally, we take a look at the reviews that Jorge has received. So let's get started with the thumbnail. Photo number one, absolutely beautiful, waterfront luxury villa with an amazing pool and dock. Now, I don't see the dock here, but I do see the photo, and I think this is a very nice thumbnail, although when we get to the photo order, I'm gonna suggest ones that you should try in its place. And when I say you should try, go ahead and change them, let them run for about a week, look at the um, number of hits and conversion rates on the Airbnb reports and see which one of the photos actually generates more clicks and more conversions. So I'm gonna give you a couple of suggestions. Now on this photo, there's a couple things and I'm gonna be really nitpicky, Jorge. You could leave this if you wanted to, but if you really wanted to optimize it, right over here I see a hose and that's a little bit of you know a distraction. It's right in the middle where my eye is drawn. And then over here there's a very small plant. It might even look like it's dead or it's in the shade or something. Let's contrast with how beautiful this plant over here looks with the red flowers. So maybe, even if it's just for the photo, go ahead and get some other live plants and put them over here and dress the back up. And instead of having hoses and dark spots of plants, let's lively it up with a little bit of um, more plants and colors, foliage and so on. But this is perfectly fine. It's a very nice thumbnail, although I did see others that were better. Before I go ahead and suggest other photos that might be a better thumb, I do want to get to the headline because the point of this very first segment is what prospective bookers are going to see. They're going to see the thumbnail and they're going to see the headline. So waterfront luxury villa with amazing pool and dock I think is quite good. Uh, I'm particularly interested because it's waterfront. Obviously everybody loves luxury. The amazing pool, you know, I think we could probably change amazing to something that's a little bit more descriptive. Um, but this headline and this thumbnail work well. I think you've probably had a lot of success. If I think of a better word for um, amazing, I will certainly share it. So let's get to the second thing, the photo order. And now I'm just going to scroll through for a second here. And as I indicated, I think that you have other photos that might even be superior to the first one. So Jorge, if you're going to use this as your thumb, I would probably take the Weber grill and all that and put it somewhere that's more discreet so it's not in the exact center of where your eye is drawn into in this photo but it does show the entire backyard and the spacious scale. I love the umbrella and the shade and the dining area. It looks really beautiful. Again this plant right here by the, um, the ladder, I'd like to see you take the photo even if it's just for photo's sake where it's in bloom and it's really bright and beautiful it looks a little bit like kind of dead um, and just realize like this is your front door. This is your window on Fifth Avenue that everyone is looking at. Every single person who's looking to book your place is going to see this photo and your headline. So even if you have to stage it and get live plants and move things around and do whatever, you would do it if you had a business on Main Street, right? Well, this is your business on Main Street. It's probably more profitable than any business on Main Street, so let's take that really serious. But I think the potential is fantastic. I also see something here, which I don't know what it is. It looks like some PVC. Um, maybe that's construction or maybe that's irrigation. Again, for the purposes of the um, thumbnail, let's see if we can't put some of the pebbles and so on to cover it. And maybe you want to do that anyway. Or maybe go ahead and get some, some wood, like a, some decking material, and just cover it so people can't trip on it or step on it and make it look a little bit more finished. And again, I'm being really nitpicky. You've done really well with your existing thumb, and this photo is absolutely perfect. But if we're trying to critique this and add value and tell you that this is sort of your absolute like first impression, you might as well hit a home run because it's only going to generate more clicks and more conversions because the rest of the place is fabulous. 
So the headline is good, the thumb line I want you to play with number three, and another thumb line suggestion as we go through the photo order, there are some shots, and I'm gonna make some recommendations on them, where you show the outside and the lagoon, that waterfront property is really impressive and beautiful, maybe with slightly different angles, you can make that your thumbnail, and if you can get the shot that I'm gonna recommend, I want you to test the existing shot, Shot number three, which is right here, right now, and then one of these waterfront shots that I'm gonna describe, and let's see which converts. It's not whether Richard likes it or whether Jorge likes it. It really is about the audience. What do people respond to? So let's go on to the next thing, the photo order. So the first shot is the thumbnail. It looks very nice. The second shot includes the dining room, uh, the outdoor dining facility, which is really cool, and the, the chase lounges, and it just really looks great. And see over here in this photo, um, we've got the live plant, and then we've got this walkway, and it looks like that goes out to the lagoon. And that really captures my interest. So you might want to try and take a shot that captures that lagoon walkway a little bit better. I haven't seen that through here. Number three is the one that I think you should test with a little bit more staging and try that for the thumbnail. Number four is really cool. Under the shade, you're painting the picture, right? I've, I've suggested that you sell the dream. Apparently, you believe that everybody who comes to Carolina, Puerto Rico, comes and they want to be outdoors and they want to be by the pool. If that's true, then you're doing a great job. If people are coming and they're booking your house because they want to be by the waterfront and the lagoon, then your photo order is not right. But only you would know what brings people down there and how many people use the waterfront lagoon versus the pool. My gut tells me you're right focusing on the pool, but I do want to mention it because in case I'm wrong, then let's highlight the lagoon. Now your first family room photo um, tries to highlight the lagoon, but it's too uh, washed out. I can't tell that that's outdoors. It doesn't draw my attention in the least, and it looks like it's taken at low tide. Retake the photo at high tide, where the background here, the dock perhaps, the walkway, is not um, overexposed, and I can actually tell what I'm looking at, because in the absence of that, what's drawn to right now is this nice couch and, and um, living room area, but in the photos that I see, this is not your best living room area at all. So I think what you're trying to do is talk about the private dock, but it's not really visible. And then we've got an okay shot as your first interior shot, and I think we can do better. So for instance, the next shot, number six, I think is a much more beautiful and inviting living room shot. However, it's not your best. I do like the way you have the throw pillows and the um, cushions and things like that, so it's nice and accented. It's clearly very well designed and decorated. It's gorgeous place. Um, and then seven, the family room, you're highlighting the TV. Again, I can sort of see the outside, but not really. Uh, so I'm not sure that this is the right photo. The photo that I really like of the interior, which should probably be your first interior photo, is this one, uh, number eight the view of the second family living area. This gives me an overview of the size of the entire property. I can see a leather couch and a sitting area, and then I can see the light brown sofas, and I see in the background a pool table, and then I see the kitchen. It's this beautiful, nice, open living space, which is the way that I like to live, and I think many guests do too. So this is a shot that um, probably should be earlier, perhaps your first interior shot as well. Then we move into uh, the dining room, and although the dining room photo seems to be highlighting this air conditioner, which is really large and impressive, and I'm glad it's got air conditioning. I sort of take it as a given in a home at this price point and of this style. So I'd love to see the dining room with a different angle. Move the camera back and show me the dining room and, sh and highlight less the art and the air conditioner. I think that that would be a great shot. The kitchen is beautiful. I love the way you have fresh fruit out and you've staged it. And so you've done a lot of the things that we've talked about. So this, the kitchen is beautiful. It's staged. You've got fresh fruit. It paints the picture. I can see you've got a coffee maker and a blender and maybe a juicer. And it's got all the things that I would want when I'm down there enjoying myself. So this is a good shot. I might try and take it a little bit more center, but I'm not sure uh, why you took it from that angle. And maybe a little bit higher, just if you're taking new photos or you're getting a professional photographer, which would probably be well worth it. You might spend $300 or $500 to get a professional photographer in here. That generates $5,000 in bookings over the first six months alone. So if you took these photos, and I don't know who took them, you might consider getting a professional photographer. If a pro took them, maybe get a second one. This is a beautiful shot, number 11. Family view of the second family area. 
um, this is a beautiful shot. I can see the outdoors and the greenery. I can see the size and the scope. Again, it's a little bit um, strange that the very top of this chair is blurry. I think you'd want to be a little bit further back if you want to include the top of the chair or be a little bit forward and not include it. But nonetheless, this is a really nice shot too. It captures my attention. I'm interested in it. And this is also superior to your first interior shot earlier. So moving along, now we go to the private dock outside. This is the first time in your headline you discussed that it was waterfront and we're at photo 12 before I actually see anything with the outside. So we need to think about that too. If waterfront is important, and I think it really is, then we need to show photos of the waterfront before. Um, you've got the cleat and the water, but I don't really see any boats or activity, and I don't know where this is in relation to your home. So I would love to see a series of photos, perhaps if that walkway that I noticed earlier is what's leading to the water, then take those photos and like tease me a little bit. Say, show me the photo that has the walkway, and then send another photo and just like make me anticipate. Say, this is the walkway to the next photo, and then in the next photo, show me the water. And that's where we are right here. But again, to make it more credible and to paint the picture, let's get a boat there, right? So I can see what size boat can be there. Maybe take the photo from the lagoon facing the house. In addition, let's get an aerial shot. Let's get a drone showing me the water, the boat, the house, and the amazing pool. And maybe that becomes your uh, thumbnail. I'm not sure. I'd have to see it and please send it to me or show it to me in Nashville. Then we've got another shot. It looks like a very similar shot. Again, I'm not sure where I am in the house. I'm in the family room, but everything is so dark in the sunset. So it's a beautiful photo, but it's not really helping me understand where I would be in the house looking at this. Am I sitting on a couch? Am I standing at like the door? Um, am I outdoors? I could even be outdoors. Um, and again, I think that aerial would go a long way for me to understand where the boat is, where the house is, and where I'm looking at. But it's clearly magnificent, and I think it's gorgeous. This shot, the professional Brunswick pool table and custom balls, is really cool. I love the angle. I haven't really seen this in um, a billiard table, so I think this is really well done. And then I love this the natural light and the atrium. I mean, this house is gorgeous and it's magnificent. You're going to do it so incredibly well and um, couldn't be happier for you. Um, the kitchen into the dining room looks very nice. Again, I like the staging of the fruit and the table is... Um, got some candlesticks and so on. It just looks, you know, really nice. I think it's a good shot. We've got the uh, breakfast area with the amazing lagoon view. Again, it's too bright, so I can't see the amazing lagoon view. And that is really critically important. If you've got a lagoon view while I'm having orange juice in the morning, I need to see that in the photo. So if you can't capture that, the professional photographer should be able to without a problem, but that would be a tremendous shot. I love what's going on over here. I can't tell what it is. Uh, it looks like some sort of orchid or palm tree or something, but that's like, you know, unique probably to Puerto Rico. I haven't seen it before, and that's really interesting. Uh, whatever this little black thing is with the cord hanging down, I'm sure you must have it. it. Looks like it's connecting to the speaker or whatever. Remove it for the photo. It's not necessary, and it just distracts. Now my eyes are looking at the fire extinguisher in this as opposed to the fruit and the lagoon. You want me to look at the fruit and the lagoon. The fire extinguisher is okay. I think people are interested in safety, but black wires and a speaker really don't add a lot of value, Jorge. Here's um, room three with the queen bed and the private pool access. I'm not sure why we're starting with room three as opposed to the master bedroom, but I'll keep clicking through and maybe I'll figure it out. Nice photo, looks very comfortable. I love the art, nice and colorful. Now we're at room two. This has private pool access. Again, I don't see where the private pool access is, so you need a photo showing me that if you're gonna indicate it. Um, now we're at the second master room with a queen bed and a private room, room four. Uh, I see now the pool access, but again, it's overexposed, so I can't see the pool. You wanna show these photos with the access and the right exposure to the water and the water elements, so people say, wow, this is amazing. We just lost our light, sorry about that. So the good news is, you'll see less of me but the content will be the same. So let's keep moving along here. As I was saying, I wanna see the outdoor pool. You talk about it, I can see the access, but the shot is overexposed on the outside. So please go ahead and get a different shot so that I can actually see the pool. This is an absolutely gorgeous room, absolutely gorgeous house. You're gonna do incredibly well with this, but I want the photography to actually enhance as opposed to detract from the listing right now, because you're doing yourself a disservice. Um, here we have a guest bathroom. 
and to be perfectly honest, it's really Spartan, it's not that impressive. If this is the best bathroom you have, then this should be the first one. If this is the worst bathroom you have, then it should be the last one or not even included. So let's keep clicking through and we're gonna see. But it just, there's nothing particularly exciting about it, there's nothing particularly on par, I don't believe, with the rest of the house. So I'm not sure that this should be in this order or even included at all. Um, and I can't tell if this is the same bathroom, guest bathroom, it looks like it's the same. Yeah, it's the same bathroom, but this is a better shot, for instance, than the first shot. So let's reverse them. Again, if this is the best bathroom you have, then let's reverse the order and we'll put the one with the tub first. I recommend taking the shot slightly lower um, and then just get the curtain a little bit neater and straighter. Pretend that this was like the only shot you were taking and let's make sure it all lines up and looks great. Now we're at master bedroom one, which I find really curious. So I don't know if the numbers have anything to do with it, why you labeled room four, room four, and room three, room three, and master bedroom two, two. But now we're at master bedroom one, and if this is the true master bedroom, or the primary master bedroom, or the master bedroom number one, then this would be the first order in your photos of the interior bedrooms. Um, so this photo looks very nice, I see a little bit of a plant or a vase here and a sitting chair. Um, it looks perfectly nice. Let's keep looking here. Now here's the master bathroom with beautiful Carrara marble on all the walls. Go ahead and change it from in all the walls to on all the walls. It's got a bathroom, it's got a bidet, it's got beautiful Carrara marble. I mean, it looks very nice. You should include the photos of the interior master bedroom one with the master bathroom one way up in the photo order as opposed to room four, room three, bathroom one, they're all backwards, right? I may never make it to here. If the first bathroom I see doesn't meet my standards or my wife's standards or whatever, then I may not make it here. So let's go ahead and put our best foot forward and we've got great photos and a great bathroom. Let's just change the order around a little bit. Look at this photo. I mean, this is a beautiful bathroom. It's got some nice detail. I would shoot this one a little bit higher. The rule of thumb is shoot from where your eyes would be in the room. Right now it looks like you're bending down and looking up, so you're at sort of like the toilet level. Um, let's shoot this up, maybe stand up and hold the camera at your eye level and shoot that at that level. I think it would be a much better photo, but I mean it's a beautiful bathroom and you should showcase this bathroom and maybe this shot as opposed to the earlier bathroom. Um, now we're finally at the living room and it's beautiful, it's got a, the entrance, it's not really clear to me, I think that's over here. Again, I think part of your challenge is that it's so sunny and so bright and so gorgeous in, in terms of weather down in Puerto Rico that in order to get your interior shots well lit, the exterior shots are way overexposed. But if you need to stitch the photos, get somebody to take the proper exposure for the outside with the proper photo in the inside, and that's what real estate professionals do when they go to sell homes, is they take two photos, the exact same photo on a tripod, one with the exposure set for the outside so that that's properly lit, and then they change the exposure so that the interior is properly lit, and then they overlay them. I'm probably oversimplifying it. I've never done it myself, but I know it can be done. I've had it done in all of my homes, and you can too. And since this is your business, I encourage you to spend a couple of hundred bucks and just get like primo shots. But it's a beautifully decorated. Whoever did the decoration and your taste, my friend, saludos. Another great shot, living room, open space. And then this is a great room and a great shot. And here again, this might be one of the first interior shots if you get the exposure right. I can see that there's a lagoon back there, but it's overexposed, so I can't really tell. And then it's too dark in the dining room, but what a beautiful place to hang out. I mean, I would love to come down here. I can't tell you how amazing this looks. And like, you may just see me in Carolina, Puerto Rico, mi amigo. Now we're at the view from the dock. Notice the fishing boat. Kind of hard to tell. I can barely see it there. Um, this lagoon is one of the top places in the world for tarpon fishing. Charter fishing is available upon request. I mean, amazing. That should be earlier, way earlier, well before the bathrooms, right? Get the photo with the, with the fishing boat at the dock and put that same thing about the tarpon fishing. People are probably coming down here for the tarpon fishing, so they wanna see the waterfront access. That's fantastic. The family room photo, um, I've seen it before. Casa Unis, beautiful, this is the entrance. View of the pool table, dining room, same thing. You know, this is a great expansive shot. The lighting is a little bit hard because you've got all the atrium and the sunlights and everything. But I mean, the place looks great. And frankly, I prefer the brown couch and the rugs in this photo, the, this color, 
than in the earlier ones. It just looks a little bit more natural, whereas in the other ones it looked a little bit too, I don't know, like um, pastel-y bordering on pink as opposed to neutral beige -y. So just keep that in mind when you're taking the photos, the exposure, the, what, what color is it actually? And this is a beautiful room. I'd love to see this taken from the water so that I can see the view of the family room and the private dock from the pool area. Let's take this from the water or further back. I mean, I see, again, beautiful palm trees, modern design, all glass, waterfront. I mean, this is just incredible. I see over here bougainvillea. Let's pull it back so I see even more of the bougainvillea. And let's go ahead and hide this little hose here. Doesn't add any value. Nobody coming to rent the place wants to see the hose in the front yard. If it's there when they arrive, say la vie, it's important for the landscaper, life goes on, they probably won't even notice it. But when they're booking it, if it just looks like a five-star, four seasons hotel, they're gonna be like, click now, book now, I want this place, this is the only place I wanna consider, they're gonna stop their search. They're not gonna look at the next guy. The next guy may be better, I doubt it, but he may. And if he's not there today, he might be a year from now. So let's get the best photos today and start to monetize this baby as much as possible. Sidewalk view of the home, it looks like a nice modern home and a uh, sculpture, which is pretty cool. Maybe take that photo at night. Take that night photo with this lit up and the sculpture. I think that could be really interesting, Jorge. And this is a great shot. It's at number 35. Um, open terrace with waterfront view and a very nice breeze. The perfect place to enjoy sunrise or chill. Now it's great. I mean, this is an outdoor sitting area. Now I can finally see the waterfront. There's no boat there. Um, and that's okay. If you, if you put a boat there for the staging, just include in the description and in the photo that the boat is not included but could be available for charter or whatever the language is. But, you know, if I personally come to Puerto Rico, I want to be hanging outdoors and by the waterfront. I may spend time by the pool. I may spend time by the lagoon. I may spend time at both. But this is the first time I've actually seen the lagoon, even though it's mentioned in the headline, so you think it's important, and I'm at photo 35, and that just doesn't seem quite right to me, my friend. Photo 36 is a slightly different angle. I understand that the laundry's on the outside, and that's kind of cool. If you're gonna be doing laundry, might as well be doing it on the outside, but I don't know that it adds too much value in the photo, or if it does, then let's pull back a little bit and get the washer and the dryer, and I don't know what this storage area here is. It looks like you've got like a car seat or some, I don't know, some storage, let's get that out of there for the photo, maybe put in a tree or a plant or something that adds some value in there. Uh, but overall, this is great. View from the four car garage. The view from the garage is cool. I would take it from the other side and then show the outside. And then if the four car garage is something that you wanna highlight, actually show the four car garage. If parking is important in this area or people are coming with cars, um, then you wanna show the garage and you have to show the inside of it. Here you show it a little bit more, the front of the property, the sculpture, I guess this is the garage. I mean, what a beautiful place, so modern and the weather looks fantastic. I mean, you've got, dude, you've got huge like planters in the road. I mean, only in Puerto Rico do I see where people would be parking their car, just huge sun-filled planters, bravo. And then the front entrance to this pool from the street. So I think overall, Fantastic photos, incredible property, room for improvement, nitpicky type stuff. But the one thing that I'm gonna say is unequivocally can't be is these overexposed shots and underexposed shots that I can't see the outdoors. You need to correct those so that it works really well. So let's turn to the description. In the description, you're renting the entire villa. It's for 12 guests, four bedrooms, four baths, two and a half, 12 guests, four bedrooms, four beds, and two and a half baths. Uh, it's asking 5.45 per night, 13 five-star reviews, uh, great guest check-in experience, great location, sparkling clean, fantastic, well done. Casa Yunis is a luxury, luxury villa in every way. Lagoon front, see once again you're talking about the lagoon, but the photos I can't see the lagoon. Uh, so we have to fix that. Gorgeous property, has a relaxing vibe. It's only 10 minutes from the airport, which is really cool. I read this earlier, uh, and I'm not sure what this is all about, but it says it's 1,236 meters and an open plan design with living room, which is really cool and it describes all the different space. But then I go down to the next paragraph and you say 3,000 plus square feet or 277 plus square meter. So let's keep it consistent and I love the way that you put in the square feet up here. You should go ahead and do it up here. But if you're gonna use square meters or square feet, let's use square meters and square feet in both locations. And if you're listed at the top, you don't need it in the bottom. So it's duplicative. But the way it is right now, it's not consistent. 
one is in metric only, one is square and one isn't, and it's kind of confusing. It looks like it's a pretty big place and that's confirmed by 3,000 plus square feet, um, but that's great. I think the description is really good. I've read this before. Um, I don't think that there's a lot of room for improvement except for the fact that um, when you talk about it being 10 minutes from San Juan Airport, one question that I have is about noise, air traffic noise specifically. So you do a really good job of highlighting the convenience to the airport and I think that's spectacular. But is that your attempt to tell people that like the noise will be present? Um, or can we mitigate that somehow and say, although we're only 10 minutes away, the air traffic hasn't been you know, problematic for our guests or somehow I think you want to try and make people comfortable with the fact that you're staying very close to the airport but your entire vacation isn't going to be filled with like noise and I've already peeked at the reviews which we'll turn to in a little bit nobody's had an issue with it so maybe you can just address it that way of all our current guests no one's had a problem with it and it's really not a big deal we can finesse the language come talk to me in Nashville um, Center console boat is available for an hourly fee with a United States Coast Guard certified captain. That's fantastic. Safety, hourly fee, it's available. I mean, it's great. Deep sea fishing, marlin, mahi-mahi, wahoo. Um, I think it's great. Swimming in the lagoon is not recommended. Um, interaction with guests, free unlimited fast Wi-Fi is included. I don't know that you need to highlight free unlimited. I think at this point everybody expects Wi-Fi to be included, but go ahead and definitely say that fast Wi-Fi is included. In fact, you might want to take a photo, do a um, speedtest.net, go to speedtest.net and just run your speed in your house and then take a screenshot of that and include that in one of the photos. Um, I love the fact that you highlight who the art is from, renowned local artists, grand sculpture uh, displayed in the front of the house. Uh, the interior design. I would push all this stuff about the art and the design and the decorator way up high at the very top. Other things to note, let's talk about the local ancestry and the designers and the decor and all that. Let's bring that up and then we can get to um, the fact that there's you know TVs and four bedrooms and so on. Gourmet catering is also available. A personal chef for lunch or dinner is available upon request. That's fantastic. House cleaning fee, complimentary pools, airport pickup and drop off. Look, I think you've actually done a terrific job with the description. I think anybody who reads the whole thing is going to be completely bought in. I would suggest that you go ahead and try and mitigate that concern that comes to my mind about air noise. I think other people will have that as well. And if it's not a big deal, then it's not a big deal. If it is a big deal, then don't try and like brush it under the carpet. Just sort of say, you know, the plane stopped coming over by 10 o'clock at night or whatever the answer is. Um, so I think you've done a really good job. And it looks like, just looking at your calendar, that um, you're booked up in the, in the front months, like in the next couple of months, really well. And then it gets a little bit uh, open for a booking in the future months, which is the way that you want to be doing it if you want to maximize your profitability and increase your prices. I've asked you uh, in private communication in the STRU Live uh, communication that we've had, whether or not you're using Beyond Pricing and you said you were not, I've suggested that you use Beyond Pricing. If it's not available in your location, then go ahead and use some other dynamic pricing, but that'll really drive results as well. Okay, fourth and finally, let's talk about the reviews. And this may be one of the best reviews I've ever read, so get ready folks, write it down. Hector, in May, just last month said, this place was perfect for our weekend getaway. It literally had everything we need and more. Six stars, perhaps. My man Jorge is killing it. He's not got five stars, he's got six stars. Every single thing here in 13 reviews, five stars, everything. I want to start by saying this place was amazing. The location is awesome, 13 minutes away from the airport. So we made it back and forth easy, perfect when you have folks coming at different times. There's tons of food options. Jorge keeps food in his, stocked in his house, water, snacks, sodas. I'd recommend this house to anyone looking to enjoy their stay in Puerto Rico. Uh, everything thanks to Jorge. Uh, the nightlife is 15 or 20 minutes away. Jorge's house was amazing, very close to the airport, nice gated community, very clean, nice pool, kitchen was stocked. I would go back again. Jorge house, Jorge's house is beautiful. This should be a Puerto Rico staple at his house when you come to Puerto Rico. Jorge, it's amazing. We had the best time in this beautiful house. This is one of the best vacations ever. The house was amazing. We absolutely loved our stay. I mean, Jorge, you're absolutely killing it. And the people are mentioning the proximity to the airport as a plus. 
So for guys like me, proximity to the airport tends to be a minus, like that's not something that I find as a value, but your guests are really enjoying that fact, so let's build that up and try and minimize the noise. Jorge was prompt, friendly, respectful, and cordial. Way to go, Jorge, on the hospitality front. Um, our group had a great time. This is beautiful. This is beyond any experiences I've had in any Airbnb. Everything was available. There was utensils. He was extremely kind, energetic, and helpful. If you have any kind of questions, just text him. He'll try his best to help you. He's a perfectionist to his customers' experiences. These are raving fans, Jorge. And for that, yes! You're crushing it, my man. I'm so excited for you. Our family has stayed at different places on the island throughout the year. We stayed at probably 10 different houses before this one. And without hesitation, I can say it was the best. Beautiful, modern, attention to details, wonderful swimming pool and backyard. The host was extraordinary. Everything was superb, great experience. Bravo, mi amigo, bravo. So look, I am so pleased that you're coming to Nashville. I can't wait to meet you in person. I know you've got another property with um, two, a two flat that you're about to renovate. And you're living in the back room uh, or back apartment in one of those. We're gonna talk about that as well. But this one is absolutely spectacular. This should be a cash engine for you. You should be generating lots of free cash flow and reinvesting it to renovate that other one. I'm super excited to meet you in person. I give you nothing but tremendous respect. He gave me a little bit of his backstory about how he went all in. He basically purchased an STR using all of his savings and he's now going to be um, renovating it over time. So like there's an entrepreneur through and through. He said he had like a hundred dollars left in his uh, bank account when he was done with the purchase. So here's a believer, here's somebody who's committed, who's going to make it happen, who's a true entrepreneur, and he's doing tremendous hospitality while he's renovating all this stuff, and he's educating himself. And Jorge, muchas gracias, mi amigo. Buena suerte. Thank you, friends. Go ahead and like the video and subscribe to the channel.